Well, friends, I think we've got ourselves something that qualifies as a bombshell on the legal front because a Georgia grand jury has recommended that Senator Lindsey Graham be indicted for his crimes. So what happens now? Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, the news just broke, so I wanted to jump on and do a quick Justice Matters video. Um, once I saw that the special purpose grand jury's report down in Georgia was just released, and among other things, the grand jurors recommended that Senator Lindsey Graham should be indicted for his crimes, disgraced former General Mike Flynn should be indicted for his crimes. Now, frankly, I don't find that surprising, but the natural question is, well, okay, what happens next? We'll talk about that in a minute, but right now, let's have a quick look at the new reporting. This from NBC News. Headline, Grand Jury in Georgia Trump Case Recommended Indicting Lindsey Graham, David Perdue, and Kelly Loeffler. And let's not bury another little piece of the lead here. They also recommended indicting Mike Flynn. The article begins, A Georgia-based special grand jury that initially investigated efforts by former President Donald Trump and his allies to overturn the 2020 presidential election recommended the indictments of more than three dozen people, including 21 who weren't charged last month. A report summarizing that special purpose grand jury's investigation was released Friday after Judge Robert McBurney, who presided over the grand jury panel, last week ordered that it be made public. Sitting Senator Lindsey Graham, a Republican from Georgia, and former Senators David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler, and former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, were among those whom the panel recommended for indictment, but were not ultimately charged. Wow. A grand jury in Georgia heard tons of evidence about what Lindsey Graham did, what Mike Flynn did, and what all of the others did, and that grand jury concluded that Graham and Flynn and others should be indicted for their crimes. Friends, this story is just getting warmed up. Now, it's no surprise that a grand jury recommended Lindsey Graham should be indicted. Remember some of the evidence that we learned about quite a while ago now. Now, Brad Raffensperger, former Secretary of State down in Georgia, we heard a lot about the phone call that Donald Trump placed to him, trying to bully him, trying to threaten him into just you know, finding 11,780 fictitious votes, votes that didn't exist, add them to Trump's column and corruptly declare that Trump won. Trump's been indicted for that. But there was a lesser reported story or a story that didn't really capture our attention like the 11,780 votes phone call did. Lindsey Graham called Brad Raffensperger not once but twice. And Brad Raffensperger made a statement about what Lindsey Graham said to him, urged him to do in that phone call or those phone calls. He said, you know, Lindsey Graham was asking me about the election's results and what he was saying to me, I interpreted as Lindsey Graham telling me to toss lawfully cast ballots. In other words, trying to do the same thing Donald Trump did, help Trump corruptly win an election that he lost. So I'm not shocked that the grand jury said, indict Lindsey Graham for his crimes. And I'm sure not shocked that the grand jury recommended, you know, that dirty criminal former General Mike Flynn should be indicted because Mike Flynn, right, who pleaded guilty not once but twice to felony crimes in federal court in Washington, D.C. 
only to have Bill Barr and Donald Trump ride in, you know, on their on their black horse wearing their black hats, the bad guys, the corrupt guys, willing to do a favor though for Trump's criminal associates like Mike Flynn and, you know, just toss out the case. Just pardon Mike Flynn. He doesn't need to be held accountable for his crime. So am I shocked that the Georgia grand jury said indict Mike Flynn for his crimes? No, I'm not shocked. But here is why I say this story is just getting warmed up, friends. Fawny Willis decided that the, the first criminal conspiracy case she wanted to bring was the RICO case that is now pending trial against Donald Trump, Mark Meadows, Rudy Giuliani, John Eastman, Jeffrey Clark, Kenneth Cheeseborough, Jenna Ellis, Sidney Powell, and I'm forgetting some, and a whole bunch of fake electors, all of whom were part of Donald Trump's criminal enterprise, his criminal endeavor, their criminal conspiracy to corruptly overturn the results of the Georgia state election. That's the first case District Attorney Willis decided to bring. What about all these other recommendations by the grand jury that other people should be indicted for their crimes, like Lindsey Graham, Mike Flynn, and others? Those charges are perhaps going to be brought in the future, maybe sometime soon. You know, there's a loose parallel regarding what we're seeing in Georgia with the revelation of this grand jury report and what Jack Smith is doing in D.C. He brought one case first, a case against Donald Trump. And in that case, in that indictment, Jack Smith said, oh, by the way, there are a bunch of co-conspirators who were in Donald Trump's criminal conspiracy here, people like uh, Mark, uh, not Mark Meadows, Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell, John Eastman and Jeffrey Clark and Kenneth Cheesebro and others, but I'm not gonna charge them, not yet. But Jack Smith revealed in substance that there are others who were part of Donald Trump's criminal conspiracy and I would bet a buck, that's my betting limit, I am not a high roller, I bet one dollar, I would bet the full buck that we are going to see federal indictments of all of those other co-conspirators sometime in the future, perhaps the near future, and they will go to trial separately, separately from Donald Trump, whose trial will begin in March in federal court in Washington, D.C. There's a parallel between that and what's going on in Georgia. Fawny Willis decided to bring one case first. Her case involved 19 co-defendants in a RICO conspiracy. But now, based on this information that we're learning from the grand jury report, it looks like other people should and likely will be indicted for their crimes in the future in a separate indictment, separate and apart from the 19 co-defendant RICO indictment, at least that is the way things should play out if District Attorney Willis agrees with the grand jury's determination and recommendation and assessment of the evidence that all of these other people, including Senator Graham and Mike Flynn and others, should be indicted because the evidence shows they committed crimes. I can only assume we're going to see those people indicted in the near future. And if not, it will be a curiosity um, and it will probably be something that will have to be explained to the public's satisfaction. Why would there be enough evidence to criminally charge people in the estimation of the grand jury but the prosecutors say, nah, I'm gonna give them all a pass. As I say, friends, this story is just getting warmed up, and I have a feeling there is more accountability to come for more of the bad actors, the criminal actors down in Georgia who have not yet been tried. And that is precisely as it should be, because justice matters. Friends, please stay safe, please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.